Welcome to Schematic Updating as we continue working on our design. In this module, we will update components using global selection and editing techniques and clean up the schematic using an alignment tool and annotation. I had an interesting request once as a consultant from a customer. They wanted all of their 10K resistors in the schematics to be changed to another value for sourcing reasons. This was easy enough to do in Altium using a global selection and editing technique that we will illustrate. Let's change the value of a capacitor throughout our design. To begin, simply click on the 100 nanofarad capacitor. Now that it's selected, we right click and in the pop up menu select Find Similar Object. This opens up the Find Similar Objects window with a listing showing the selected parts object parameters, all of which can be used for a global or local search and selection operation. In this case, selecting the parts comments pull down menu. We change it to Same. This allows us to search for any parts with the exact same comment. We could just as easily narrow down the search selection criteria by adding more constraints using either Same or Different, again depending on our aim. Leaving the remaining windows to Any basically ignores these for the search. Before we hit OK and start the search, we should explore the Find Similar Objects window a bit. Looking at the checkboxes, we have a number of options. For our purposes, we would like to have all the boxes checked, but it's not necessary. We want at least the Select Matching option checked. Notice that we could simply zoom into the matching components, or if we were looking to create an expression to use elsewhere, we could select the Create Expression box. This can be useful when you want to create an expression to use later on in rule generation. This window has a number of options, including the scope of the search. In this case, it's set to Current Document. Hitting Apply performs a find using the current settings in this case limited to the currently viewed document, as you can see we have selected two capacitors on this page. We see this both visually with the highlighted caps, as well as the status message on the bottom of the properties panel indicating two objects. Clicking on the selection opens up the drop-down menu where we can expand our search to include open documents or project documents. Depending on our intent and needs for selection, we could use the various selection options. We want to select all of the matching components for this project, so that's the option we will pick. Hitting Apply again, we see now that we have selected six objects on three documents from the Properties panel status. Now that the scope and selection criteria have been set, we turn our attention to what do we do with these selected items. Clicking OK runs the search and closes the Find Similar Objects window. It also opens up the schematic filter panel if it wasn't already open and shows the resulting expression that was used to select the current components. Looking at the schematic filter panel, we see the expression used in the Find Similar Objects query that selected these six components. Now in the Properties panel, we can edit the Part Comment field to read 101 nanofarad instead of 100 nanofarad. Hitting Carriage Return updates all of the selected components across the project. We can see that this changed multiple components on multiple schematics as indicated by the asterisk on three of the schematic sheets. To clear the selection, hold the Shift key and click on C or right-click in the window and select Clear Filter. Looking at each of the schematics, we can see the changes. Hitting Ctrl Z backs out the change. Using Find Similar Objects is a powerful way to find, select, and change components globally in their schematics. There are a few more features that can aid in the design capture process. The next one being useful with an inherited design, especially one that was not captured on grid. To realign the schematic objects, placing them on a currently set grid, first select all of the schematic objects. To select all on a page, either use the rectangle select method or edit select all from the pull down menu. Please note that the properties window selection filter has everything enabled. Otherwise, nothing would be selected by the edit select all action. Once everything is selected, use the edit, align, Align to Grid option. This will put everything on the current grid setting. In some cases, you may need to do some cleanup, but in the long run, it is better having everything aligned cleanly, both for the look as well as for making connections. Clicking anywhere in the schematic window will clear the selection. Using a large grid setting when performing the initial placement is recommended. Sometimes it's faster just to quickly place components and then clean up their placement later. I use Altium's alignment tools to clean up the quickly placed components. The alignment tools are located under the Edit Align submenu, where they can be accessed using the Align icon. 
objects must be selected first before performing the alignment operation. I use this oftentimes to make the schematics look orderly and neat once I have finished the initial placement and before the wiring begins. Consider trying a few of the alignment options to get a feel for selecting and aligning objects on your schematics. In some cases, it can be helpful to document or to draw attention to a particular net. To highlight a particular net, for example a higher voltage one like 12 volts, we use the net color icon and select the color to apply to that net. In this example, we will select red. Now we see the active selection cross on the mouse and can assign the red color to any net that we click on. Apply the net highlighting to the 12 volt net. Hit either escape or right click to clear the net highlighting mode. Now all the wires that are connected to 12 volts, we see that they have a red highlight on them. Notice the 12 volt power connectors are not highlighted as they are not wires. Highlighting can be toggled on and off via the net icon menu here or by hitting the F5 key, like this. The highlighting can also be removed using the Clear Net Color or Clear All Net Color options from the same Net Color icon pull-down menu. Again, this can be useful to draw attention to particular nets like high voltage or current or to indicate sensitive analog nets. When a design is captured, the component numbering can get out of order. In that instance, it can be useful to re-annotate the component reference designators. In addition, some companies have standards for the order and numbering of components on schematics, and with Altium, it is possible to reorder the existing components at any point if needed. The annotation tool is located under the tool's main pull-down window. The initial run at annotation should start with the annotate schematic selection. This is where the schematic annotation is configured. Once configured, the other options for annotation are able to be used, such as resetting operations and annotate schematics quietly. Again, these should be only tried after setting up the main annotation settings. Here we will follow the typical process for annotation. First, we would set the order of processing using the pull-down menu. We will use across then down. Next, enable or disable particular sheets. Say, let's disable the process IO schematics. Or we can lock, if needed, any particular component's reference designator by clicking the box in the proposed change list. Let's lock J4 so that it maintains its numbering. Reset All clears all the components that are enabled to be changed. We see the pop-up window information with the details. Now hit Update Changes list to generate the new numbering. Again, we see the pop-up information window with changes and also what was not changed from the original. Looking at the proposed Net Changes list pane, we can see what the new numbering will be. Accept changes to create the ECO. This opens up the ECO window. In the ECO window when running for the first time, I use the Validate Changes button to ensure that the ECO can be run prior to actually running it. All green checks are good. Run the ECO to perform the updates and changes. Check Only Show Errors checkbox to ensure that the ECO ran successfully. Now we hit Close, and let's close the annotation window. Now that the schematics have been re-annotated, we can save them. Notice the two capacitors are now C1 and C2. In this module, we have explored global editing using the Find Similar Object method for selection and the Schematic Inspector panel to update and change selected components. We revisited grids this time with an eye towards aligning objects both to the grid and with each other, and then we performed net highlighting, set up, and perform schematic annotations. Please do the exercise, Altium Designer Schematic Updating.